SED, short for Stream Editor, is another important Unix Linux text processing tool. Each line of a SED program has three parts, an address that indicates which lines the command will operate on, an instruction that tells SED what to do to the line, and an argument list that may modify the behavior of any given command. Before we start writing commands, let's see what SED does with no commands. To run a SED command on a file, we write the command SED, put the program in single quotes, then write the name of the file. If I leave those quotes empty, by default, SED will read in each line in the file and print it out. Let's write a simple SED command that will work on the file. I can refer to any line by including the line number in the address portion of a SED command. One of the most basic commands is to delete a line. I'm going to write a short SED program that will delete the first line of the file. Occasionally I might want to apply a command to all lines that don't match a given input. I can reverse the range the command applies to by adding an exclamation point in front of the command. I can also apply a command to a range by specifying a beginning and ending line separated by commas. I'm going to modify my previous command to delete lines 1 through 3. SED also lets me specify individual lines or ranges with a valid regular expression. If I wanted to delete all of the lines with the word IT, I can put that word in between forward slashes to indicate that it is a regular expression. A single regular expression only matches a single line. If I want the match to extend across multiple lines, I can separate the two expressions by commas. SED will search the file until it finds a line that matches the first expression and continue to select lines until it finds the second expression. Then it will keep going after that until it finds another match to the first expression and hopefully another match to the second as well. So be careful with this. Deleting lines is not the only thing SED can do. There are quite a few other commands, the most important of which is the find and replace command, indicated by an S. The syntax for the S command is S, followed by a separator character, usually a slash, but it does not need to be, a regular expression, another separator, another regular expression, a final separator, and any options. Let's replace all occurrences of on with up to see what I mean. So we have command, separator, regular expression, separator, second regular expression of what text we want to replace, a separator. Notice that this matched every time the letters ON occurred, not just the word ON, but it did so only once per line. Only the first match in the line that said ON and ON was replaced. To replace every occurrence of a line, we need to add an option. The option to match every occurrence on a line is G, so we put that at the end after our final separator, and now it replaced on but in both occurrences on that second line. When we ran this command, we ran it without a pattern. We could add a pattern, just as we did for the delete command, to limit the lines this command applied to. So the pattern goes before the actual command, this says to apply it only to the second line. When we want to run multiple commands for a said program, there are two ways we can do it. Um, if we're working on the command line like this, I could write a, I could separate commands by a semicolon. So this would say, on line one, delete the line. On line two, replace all occurrences of on with up. The other way that I can do this. is to put the commands into a file. And I just write the commands directly. And then I can run that the commands in the file by using sed with the dash f option.
There's a lot more to said, but these examples should help you get through the homework for the week.